Hello. This month, the State's Assembly voted to pass the first ever government plan. I do want to thank all members for their thoughtful contributions to the debate and also to the staff who facilitated this extra long sitting. Now, it can be easy to forget amidst the headlines and sound bites that it's the hard work day to day by the staff at the Baylor's Chambers, Scrutiny, and the Greffiers officers which keeps the State's Assembly running. The same is true of our island as a whole. And I want to pay tribute to all those working throughout December who allow the rest of us to enjoy this festive month. This is true of numerous professions, from high street retailers who open extra hours to allow us the chance for that, last, that bit of last minute uh, Christmas shopping, or those in the hospitality industry who work, work to make our Christmases extra special. To those in our island's charitable sector, whose hard work never stops as they look after those in our island who are the most vulnerable particularly during the winter months. And I also want to pay a special tribute to all those working in health and social services and in the fire, police and ambulance services who keep these vital services running throughout the Christmas period. This has been a busy year, both locally and internationally, and our island has successfully faced a number of challenges. We've made extensive preparations to navigate the UK's ongoing departure from the European Union, ensuring our island is prepared regardless of the outcome of Brexit, and working with the other Crown dependencies to ensure our voices are heard and our interests continue to be represented by the UK Government. And we've continued to establish our island's identity on the world stage, participating in a number of multinational fora and building relationships with governments overseas. We've also focused on celebrating our local identity the creation of an island identity board and a renewed focus on Jersey's unique heritage. We've launched the Jersey Care Model, outlining a long-term care plan for our island that puts the needs and convenience of patients first. Looking ahead to the new year, 2020 promises to be an exciting time for our island. The government plan, which was passed by the State Assembly this month, will begin to be implemented, ensuring our island's finances are well managed a long-term vision for the future and I look forward to continuing to work with States members as we implement the plan during 2020. Next year we'll also see significant steps made in the delivery of the new hospital and our new population policy. And of course 2020 will also mark the 75th anniversary of our island's liberation and it was a privilege for me to bring forward Proposition 84 earlier this year which will create an additional bank holiday next year to mark VE Day alongside our own Liberation Day. The year will be marked throughout with festivities and I look forward to both celebrating and reflecting as we come together to mark our shared history. And it's that final aspect, coming together, which is the one I want to particularly emphasise. Jersey has long had a strong sense of community and at Christmas time this community spirit is particularly important. Not all islanders have family with whom to share the festive period and loneliness can be a difficult burden for some in Jersey. I hope that during this festive period we can all come together as an island community and reach out to those who may be alone during Christmas, ensuring nobody feels unsupported or left out. Finally, however you are celebrating over this period, let me wish you and all your loved ones a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for listening.